Hi, in this tutorial, we will perform the multiple sequence alignment using two different tools. One is Tea Coffee, another one is Telestyle W. It's so worth mentioning here that both of these tools are based on progressive sequence alignment algorithm. In the regular classes, we have discussed about the progressive sequence alignment in detail. Let's first use the Tea Coffee. There are the different versions of the Tea Coffee which are available on the internet. But for this tutorial, we are going to use the tea coffee version which is available on ebi.ac.uk website. When you will click on this one, you will move to the next page which is dedicated for the multiple sequence alignment. Here on this, on this page, the first thing which will be asked to you to add the type of the sequences which you are going to use to perform the multiple sequence alignment. Is it a protein sequence? Is it a DNA sequence and is it an RNA sequence? For this tutorial, we have a protein sequences, so that's why we are going to select the proteins. In the box below, we have to submit our protein sequences in the FASTA format. As you can see it here, that we have pasted the five sequences in a FASTA format in this box. And for these five sequences, we want to perform the multiple sequence alignment. Alternatively, you can also upload the sequence file here as well. At the bottom, the most important option is an output format. There are the different type of the output formats which are available here. But most of the time, we are going to use the HTML output format due to some obvious reasons. We will talk about these reasons very shortly in this tutorial. Finally, after setting all of these options, we will click on this submit button. Here, we will again recommend you not to change the by, uh, not to change the by default values. Otherwise, it may be difficult for you to have a proper interpretation of your multiple sequence alignment as a beginner. So click on this submit button. And when you will click on this submit button, after a few moments, you will have your job done. This is a job link. You can copy and paste it for the later use. And if you will click on this one, you will have, you can visualize your multiple sequence alignment. Here, you can actually see your multiple sequence alignment in a different colors. Now, what these colors are telling you. This red color is letting you know that these regions in all sequences are same or identical. From an evolutionary point of view, we can say that these regions are under a high selection pressure. And they are very critical for the proper function and the structure of the protein. While the regions which are going to have a green color or they are going to have a yellow color, they are not under a very high selection pressure. They are under a moderate are low selection pressure and these are the regions which are which are not very critical for the function and the structure of the protein you can also see the steric signs and you can also see the dot signs here the steric signs are letting us know that at this point all of the amino acids are identical while the dot signs are letting us know at this point all of the amino acid residues are not identical they are similar in the previous lectures and the tutorials, we have talked about the concept of identity and similarity as well. So this is your multiple sequence alignment, which is giving you an idea about the conservation among the protein sequences. Now this is an HTML output format. If you have a cluster W or any other type of the output format, so in these output formats, you are not going to have the color which are letting you know about the conservation of the sequences. It's easy for us to interpret the multiple sequence alignment in an HTML format. I hope so that this will help you to carry out the multiple sequence alignment. 